Hey everybody, um, so today I'm going to do something that I don't normally do. I'm going to do a little bit more of a gear review. I don't normally do that. Uh, I tend to focus on software. I think the software is always more important than the hardware, but I do think it's true that good hardware can make the software work better. And bad or really atrocious hardware might make the software work a lot harder for it to be effective. So I do think there's a balancing act between hardware and software. So I don't, I'm not one of those guys who makes fun of people who spend a lot of time talking about gear. I think that's important. It's just not something that I necessarily feel is spend a lot of, that I should spend a lot of time at. Um, I do want to talk about, so I am going to talk about one today that is very specific. It's actually something I designed. It's a, it's a knife sheath for the Shivworks, the Craig Douglas design clinch pick. Now, for those of you who don't know, the clinch pick is a very specific defensive tool for a specific environment. That is in the, an entanglement. It's a, it's a knife that's optimized to be used in that entanglement, whether on the feet or on the ground. And the design of it, so those of you who haven't seen it, so here's the clinch pick, very short blade, short egg handle, all of it's designed to work as to be as small a footprint as possible while still having some uh, functionality. Uh, the original sheath that came out with the clinch pick is a very good sheath. It was designed for maximum uh, speed and access of draw. And so this is what it looks like. This is, a, this is actually a clinch pick trainer, but this is how it was basically done back then. So it was a big giant tech lock. And as far as accessing this blade and getting it out, this is, this is the pinnacle. This is, it, this has this, obviously as you can see, it'll go on the belt here. It'll, you've got a big standoff from the belt, very easy to grab on the belt. Great for usage. The problem with it is it's not particularly concealable for most people. Um, in you know, most environments. Some people certainly can. Uh, one of my students, definitely, he's a bigger guy. Um, he, he has no problem running a clinch pick in a tech lock and concealing it. So it's not to say it can be done, it's just harder. And for some people, it's a little more uncomfortable because it's very rigid in, in how it's held. So over the years, people were playing with it, um, coming up with a solution. And this is the one I think is the best. It was designed by, by, by my buddy Tom Kelly at Dark Star Gear. He makes some great holsters and other stuff, by the way. So what he basically did was he's a very minimalist sheath, just enough to hold on to it, and then put a soft loop around it. So it hangs on the belt. And the nice thing about this is it's still really good access, still very quick, maybe fractionally less so than the original sheet, but still easy to use and very functional, but is ridiculously more comfortable because you can see with the soft, with the single loop, there's a little bit of adjustment. So as you move and you sit and you stand and you walk, the sheath can move a little bit as well. So it's very comfortable and it's certainly more concealable than the tech lock. Uh, this is a, I actually had one of the first ones of these that uh, Tom produced and I ran this for years and years and years and I still do as actually it's a, it's a great sheath for especially more casual use, uh, more casual clothing. It's a great sheath. Um, then uh, one day Tony Mayer of uh, Jam Custom Kydex went, came to me and said, hey Cecil, do, do you have an idea for a clinch pick sheath? Do you, is there anything that you'd like to see? And the only problem with the Dark Star Gear sheath, and it's a very slight one, is it's not quite as concealable for a lot of people. Certainly a lot of people can do it without much of a problem, but not everybody. Um, I know a number of people who they've been wanting to carry a clinch pick, but just haven't been able to find a sheath that works for them that's concealable. So I started playing around and I had this idea in my head and 
and Tony threw in a couple ideas, and what we came up with was this, the CP sheet. So realistically, what it is, it's, it's still really fast and accessible, maybe slightly less so than the original tech lock, but barely. It's still really comfortable, maybe not quite as comfortable as the Dark Star Gear one, but pretty close. But what it is, it's, it's incredibly concealable. As you can see, the way, so the way the belt, it goes on the belt, the loop goes on the belt here, and with this V shape, this V format, it really pulls the, the knife into the belt, lays very, very, very flat, surprise, even more than I'd hoped when I, when I started sketching out the idea. Um, It still has quick access, but the concealment starts to really go up. Um, one of the things that helped was I had an idea of coming up with some kind of little uh, formed a little piece on it that would act as a kicker. That when it was on the belt, it would kick the tail out, the, the tip out a little bit and bring the handle end in a little bit more. A, a lot of, like how a number of appendix pistol holsters are carried, or are, are, are set, up, set up. And Tony, Tony Mayer had this genius idea and what he basically did was he put on these little, there's little plastic rings and they come with every kit and there's up to three. And so you can adjust the level of kicking out that you want. You can have none. I know plenty of people who do that and don't have a problem or you can put one, two or three. I like the three for me, it works a little bit better. So I have all three of the little white plastic ring so it acts just a little push out. So it doesn't push it out enough that it makes this end not concealable, but it's still pushed out enough that it really brings in the handle end, but I can still get in a really good grip with this. Um, so it's been out about a year now at this point, and we've got a lot of feedback, a lot of field usage, a lot of people um, using it on a regular basis, and it's pretty much done what I wanted it to do. It's still incredibly useful, very accessible on speed of use, uh, still comfortable for most people, but the first thing that always comes back is people telling me that they've never been able to conceal a, a, a clinch pick before, but now they have. So, um, pretty happy about that. I'm pretty excited that it worked. You know, you come up with a design idea and that it actually works the way you want. It's kind of a cool thing. Uh, makes me happy. Um, so, if any of you, if you're interested in it, you can, it's at JM Custom Kydex, and I think I have a discount code there. I think maybe it's like 12% off. If you if you just uh, message me or comment or email, um, I'll get it. I can't remember what it is offhand, but I'll try to put it in the show notes on uh, when I post this on YouTube, or I'll put it up somewhere. If not, like I said, just let me know. But um, Hopefully, that's something that you, that you might be interested in. If it is and you want more information, again, just hit me up, and um, hopefully it works for you just as well.